Well, my name is Ricky Wilson. I'm the head coach here um, for the men's basketball team. Uh, I came from the University of Southern Miss where I was an assistant coach there for um, eight years and I'm um, happy to be here. I think it'll be filled with, with a lot of high intensity basketball. Uh, we're still going to keep to our core values, which um, are defending and rebounding, but I think with this team, more than my last year's team, um, I just think the talent level is a lot better. And with that being better, we'll be able to do more things. I think we're deeper at a lot of different positions. And I think it'd be something that the fans would really enjoy coming out to watch. Well, our motto is, is team together. And, and I just believe in, in, in doing things as, as groups. I mean, we do church functions. We do a lot of community service this year. Um, you know, we'll go out to eat together. Just things like that, that you know, like you, like you say, it develops relationships. You know, those guys that go out to the movies together, different things like that that, you know, other than basketball, um, where you can develop a relationship with a guy, and those things really transform to the court. You know, when it's time to, it's really, you know, basketball to me is trust. If you trust the guy on the court, um, if you trust your coach, you do anything for him. And, and those off the court um, activities, um, you know, really help in, in, in developing those things. Well, what, what I like most um, about what I do is what, what I teach and, and what we do as a program, I, I did as a player. And I know it works, and, and I know the, the good side of it and the bad side. I know um, kind of when to let off of a player and, and when to kind of push him a little more. Um, you know, as far as the rebounding and the defense, um, I just believe that wins games. Um, hands down, I, I think at the end of a game, when it's when it's winning time, you have to get a stop. And, and to be able to do that, you have to be able to defend and rebound. Um, you know, we 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 do offense. We we work on our offense, but um, you know, our 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 core principles will be defending and rebounding. And, and and when it's time to win a championship, when it's time to take this team or this program to the next level, those are the two things that that are going to do it. Well, the first thing I, I, I tell players, Steve, and, I, and you know the players I currently have and the players I had in the past, if you don't want to graduate, then this is probably not the program for you. Um, I want kids that want to come in, first and foremost, um, get their degree, and then secondly, be able to be, um, or be able to take their, their basketball talent to their highest level. Now, for some kids, that might be a high major school. For some kids, that might be the NAIA level, but I want you to try to exceed your expectations on the basketball court. Um, I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to make you go to class. Um, you know, the things that, that when I was going to school, the, my coaches made me do. Um, those are the kind of things I try to instill into my players. I mean, I just believe that the crowd is what you call the sixth man. Um, and the more we can fill this place up, the more intensity and, and tradition we can bring to these to the men's and the women's programs I think it'll have a direct reflection on, on, on our records um, like you said we both had great years last year but um, you know there was games that you know if we would have had a, a, a better crowd or more support uh, we would have pulled those games out um, I just think the crowd is everything this is a great environment for um, college basketball like you said it's in the mid city um, the facilities here are great top of the notch I've been to community colleges all over the country and um, this school not just the not just the, the gymnasium but the, the outer buildings are, are on par with any big time community college in the country um, you know support is everything if we're gonna build this program and take it to the next level we definitely need the community support well, coming from New Jersey, we grew up playing basketball. Basketball is everything. I mean, you know, five years old, I was picking up a basketball, playing in the playground. But as I got older, I really understood how you can use basketball as a tool to do other things in life. And I really believe and I try to teach these guys that, you know, everything we do on the court is more to me a life lesson. It's not really just putting the ball in the basket or, you know, slam dunk and throwing an alley-oop. It's more life lessons. What we do on the court, um, how we conduct ourselves in the classroom, in the community, those things you can take with you later on in life and, and be successful. And, and, you know, those are things I try to teach to my guys. I mean, if I had to sum it up, I would probably say the relationships that I've gained over the years. I mean, I have friends that I've known for 20 years 
that I played college basketball with, um, guys that I would have never met any other time in my life, guys from the South, guys from the West Coast um, that I still talk to this day. Um, just for going through those practices and those games and, you know, those battles on the court, um, really gained some good friendships from doing that. Well, um, we started off slow last year. Um, I want to say we won our first four out of ten games. Um, you know, in community college, you're always going to kind of have a new team. So it took us some time to, to, to get the thing going. But after we got it going, we won our last um, 15 out of, I mean, 13 out of 15 games. Um, we ended up winning our conference, which the first time they, they've done it on the men's side. And the conference winner of, of the Miss Lou Conference goes to the Region 23 um, regional tournament. Well, in that tournament, um, the Miss Lou Conference champion gets a three seed in that tournament. Um, we started off with Southwest, um, and it was funny because we lost to Southwest in the beginning of the season in the scrimmage. And the guys were down, and it was our first scrimmage, and, you know, they, they, they didn't like it. But I told them, I said, we're going to see this team again. I guarantee you. We saw them again in the regional tournament. We beat them in overtime. It was a great game. Beat them in overtime. Um, then it played, went on to play East Mississippi, who – we beat twice during the year. Now, East Mississippi was ranked eighth in the country. Great basketball tradition. I think they won the Region 23 tournament the last four years. And um, we, we lost them. We lost by seven points. It was a really competitive game. Um, we were down by four with two minutes with a chance to tie it by two, miss a, a chippy, and, you know, we ended up losing the game. But um, it was a great year. Um, the guys played really hard. And, um, you know, it, it's 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 – it's, it's different how they do the conference seeding for the regional tournament, but it's something that we have to live with. And I think that three seed, I think we were more of a two seed, but just coming from our conference, we automatically get the three seed bid. So, um, you know, we'll take that. And, you know, because that means we win the conference, our conference, Miss Lou Conference, um, if, we, if we can get into that regional tournament. But I was really happy with the year. I thought the guys played really hard and looking forward to this year.